thank you for tuning in. This is Jiggles Meow. I know I haven't recorded in a long time and you know life's been busy crazy um but uh lots of good things has happened but now i want to take time and talk about uh one of the things i want to talk about so today i will focus on um this app and um this new meter i've been using so the app is my sugar i've mentioned it a few times um it's this cute little app so i started using back in february 14th so it's coming up almost two months now um and what i love about it is they make it kind of fun and when you use this meter the accucheck guide um which they will give it to you for free um there's a couple of ways to get it. One is um, they will give you a voucher, but you have to go through your doctor. And let me tell you, that way it was a little bit time consuming. And at the end, I didn't go that way about it because even though I could get the meter for free, I couldn't get the test strips for free. Insurance wasn't going to approve it. And I asked my doctor why, and she said basically she couldn't give the insurance company a reason why I must use this meter. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess that was that. But, um, and I went back to the My Sugar app and I looked over things, contemplated things. And because My Sugar app also offers this monthly bundle for $40. Um, where you get unlimited strips and at the same time you would get the meter um, So thankfully my hubby surprised me and got the bundle for me because he just think that I shouldn't really waste time and energy thinking about something that small um, So one of the great thing that I wanted to use my sugar is because it auto uploads my data because for those that knows, you test, you have a number, you write it down in your little logbook. That's how it was once upon a time. But now, with technology so great, there are many apps out there. And in the beginning, before I really done any research, I created an Excel sheet on Google Drive, and which I have a link to my website. So that was another way for me to keep track. And um, then eventually, I found a bum found out about my sugar and it's been great. So besides the auto loading, it gives you cute features like um, once you submit a um, entry, there's a little thing called your little monster will make noises like nom 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 or something cute and weird. So that was the second. Um, so besides the little monster, within each entry, there's a lot you could do. So if you had to manual enter it, you have um, options like to input pictures, you'll ask your glucose, you'll ask you insulin, how many units you took for your food, so the fast acting insulin, and um, if you how many units you use to correct um, long acting insulin pills and basically these are I love these little options so before after meal which meal if you have corrections if you were at office you did sport if you're happy stressed or sad if you did any housework if you drank alcohol or if you're feeling hungover um, if you're eating out or uh, if you're have menstruation so it's, it's lots of things you can input that um, basically you will know down the line, like, oh, this day was this number. Oh, why is it? Oh, okay. Because these things happened and there's tons of other fields. You can enter what types of food you ate. You can enter if you did any type of activities, um, take any type of notes and you can also enter your blood pressure, body weight, ketones, and so much, much more. And after that, you'll see the pictures will come up if you do what, how much insulin dosage will show up. And I'll show you if I go to one that um, has picture, if you go to that specific day, 
it was sh you could see like your picture kind of like everything your notes and all the, the features that you picked you say yes that's what I did so it's great and also every time you input an entry it will give you points how many points you get get for this entry and you have this little competition with um, people in their my sugar office so I haven't really done it all that much and especially currently my meter is down and not syncing with my phone so I haven't been entering at all but that's another problem I'll talk about a little later and um, so besides that it has another great feature right here in the circle it's empty right now because it needs you to log I think it says seven days consecutively to know to give you an estimate what your um, HBA 1c is basically your a1c your three months average glucose number um, so before um, it started this past Saturday it stopped syncing because um, as a birthday present hubby got me a new phone because I don't know if you guys remember my old old phone was not charging I had to constantly leave it charged so basically I was connected to a charging cord all day um, so ever since the switch now these aren't syncing anymore and I wrote them on Saturday and um, three days later today I finally heard back um, I mean I'm no programmer and developer and all that but I'm fairly tech savvy um, these type of syncing is no brainer like the previous one I didn't really even have to follow like the booklet the instructions I just did it and it worked um, and this time it didn't work I did look up the like the FAQs to try it again troubleshooting I did it and I followed the instruction the nice lady gave me another thing is they um, even though that yes they did take a while to get back to you they don't really um, I don't know what their SLA is I don't know what their, their time frame to get back to you is but usually is about two to three days the earliest anyway but they're always really nice and I think perhaps um, they have like a record of you of what you've written in the past because they know like my story um, I mentioned to them that like you know I'm hoping to try to get pregnant soon so um, they will always say something really warm in the beginning which I thought that that's definitely a nice touch um, so Right now, the issue is it's not syncing, um, but at least the data is still here. So this AccuView, AccuCheck guide um, is cute. It's a little bigger, I would say, than my other meter, but it definitely has a lot of great features. First of all, it actually has a little light where the strip goes in, um, so it's great. So if you're like in the dark or you can't see, actually, it's it's pretty neat. Um, it's just has three main menu um, test data and settings and then an OK button um, function also has the power button and then the back button so it's it's really it's really easy and also after um, your glucose comes up you have the option to choose like before meal after meal fasting or no record and um you could set um, like the low high to know like when it's too low too high um, however when it, even though you say like for example um, this number is before meal and when it loads it really only loads the number I haven't looked into it I don't think I'm doing anything wrong I just don't think maybe this meter and the Samsung Galaxy well, I don't know what the S9, but at least with the S7, it only loads the number. It doesn't load the fact that it was before meal because they do have those, like I showed you earlier, it does have the option you can check before meal and then which type of meal it is. Um, so we didn't even select the before meal, even though I did enter in here. So it would be great if they could link that. So it's one less thing I have to do. Um, but I don't want to stop doing that on here uh, because like now it doesn't sync at least if I go back and look at my logbook on here I will be able to see it was before meal and it's cute before meal 
um, the picture is a full apple, and after meal, like, the apple's been eaten, so it's cute. Um, let's see what else. Um, so I, so I have the bundle, and what was great is the bundle showed up, uh, it was, like, just a normal cardboard box that came in. There's no indication that it's any, it's a, the test meters or test strips. Um, so I was like, I didn't buy anything. What came in? So I opened it. It was just like, I think eight more boxes of, um, to test strips. And I quickly ran upstairs to see like how much I had left. So I, I still had, um, two unopened boxes of strips left. So I'm really happy about that part is where I don't have to worry about like, Oh my God, I'm running out tomorrow or in a week. Where's the new test strips? So that's cool. Um, another big thing that comes with a bundle, so besides the meter, besides the test strips, is the coach part. So, um, once you purchase, it, it will show up, this person will introduce themselves, and you can, um, click on info, and it kind of gives you their background. So she, mine's Alicia, she talks about her nursing career, she is a RN, BSN, and CDE. I don't know what the last two is, but um, she's apparently Director of Diabetes Patient Care and Education. So she kind of gives her background education. She talks about her rocky road, um, what her passion is. And her and her husband are ooh, in black belt martial arts. So that's cool, right? And oh, and she has a dog. She mentions the dog. Everybody loves animals, so it's great. Um, to kind of have, uh, to establish rapport. Um, however, she initial, like when I first signed up, she did send an initial like, welcome, thank you for joining, you know, let me know if you have questions. So it's great. So after I written her, so March 8th, it took her March 12th to respond. And then after that was another day. And then March 16th to, to the March 19th. Um, I have to say, I don't, maybe I'm not asking the right questions or maybe my questions aren't that difficult to answer, but I don't really feel I'm getting a lot out of the conversation with my diabetes coach. Um, and another concern I addressed besides telling them that my phone and my meter doesn't link is that. I think perhaps they should choose, but again, I don't know like what their staffing is like because every time you write them, they're like, "Oh, sorry, we're we're having a cold, or we're gonna we're slow at responding, or whatever." So it sounds like they're constantly understaffed. So maybe that's a reason. But I feel, which I gave them suggestion, they should give coach with the same. For example, if the the you the the app user is type two diabetic then they should give a diabetes coach that has type 2 diabetes. Even though they're both diabetes, I, I will say there are world of difference between type 1 and type 2. And even I'm type 2, I understand a lot about type 2, insulin, this and that. But you want to ask me about type 1? I can't really tell you besides what I've read. Um, I didn't even read much about it. I just like what I've seen on Instagram and like other pops up. Um... So no, I can't tell you much about type one. So I just feel, I'm not like questioning her knowledge, the coach's knowledge, but I just feel that as an app user who's the type two, I would like to have somebody who's a type two to kind of give me more of their experience and suggestions and ideas and things like that. Um... Yeah. Um, so at the moment right now, if I have to rank out of five stars, I would say I'm at a three about this app and this meter. Yes, it's cute and fun for me to record. Um, but I don't know exactly how much value is bringing me. Because um, if I have to enter so much data myself still, 
I don't feel it's any different than another using another meter and the type of app that's free and entering all the um, data myself. So, um, is the $40 worth it? I would say for the meter and for the strips, perhaps at a lower price per month because I just don't feel I'm getting really a lot out of the app and the coach. So, I guess, I guess if somebody is so busy, can't run around and go pick up meds on them their own. But I mean, especially, everything's so easy now because there's like, you know, the, the online pharmacy, you don't even have to go, they just mail you stuff. So like, you don't really have to worry about that. Um, again, that's just my uh, own assessment and my, my own opinion. Um, that's just how I feel about it. Um, cause I know I, I see a lot of other, um, diabetics on Instagram and they love it. They love, um, my sugar. I'm not saying I don't love it. It's what the, um, but I'm, I'm just saying there's a lot more room for improvement. Um, but yeah. Um, if you know any other apps or suggestions, I would love to hear it. I'm not, uh, close-minded to other apps or things like that um, I would like to try anything and everything that will help me keep track keep record and be consistent about knowing where my health is um, so yeah so that that leads back to another great thing that I like is the, the estimated a1c number which I also wrote to their um, support suggesting that um, since they have an estimated um, A1C, I said maybe they should have a button where users can enter what our actual A1C number results from the doctor's office and that way they can kind of um, keep that statistic and know how accurate their estimate is. And maybe for future new users or, um, to see, oh, this is like, you know, probably a graph chart saying, oh, this is our estimate and this is what the number is. Look how accurate it is or not. Um, I just think that would be a good selling point. Um, and also just for us new users to know, like, is your, ac is your estimate that accurate? Because we, it will only know from the number you test. So if we always test, great, but maybe, because I personally test an hour after I eat, in which I find a lot of people test two hours after they eat. And since I never tested two hours after I eat, I don't know actually how my, bad, my body is reacting two hours. So it could technically spike even higher um, that I don't even know it, and it's just registering at the one hour mark versus two hour mark and it, I could potentially have a higher A1C and I don't even know it so but I am going into test in two weeks or no not two weeks I'm so sorry I am going next week so I'm a little nervous but I am just praying for lower than seven because doc said seven lower it's good but 6.5 and lower is even better <laughs> Anyway, I thank you for tuning in. I have lots more videos I will record. So keep checking back. Thank you.